Google's Play Store is chock full of some amazing apps. And while quite a few of these apps are available for free with or without ads, some of them are paid. Now, I'm sure you'd already know that it's quite easy to download the paid versions of the apps by sideloading them on Android. But what you might not know is that these APK files could very well be infected with malware, which is always a risk to your data and at times even the phone. So I'd strongly advise against it. But don't worry, you are at Guiding Tech and we always have your back. So in this video, we will talk about some legit ways to get paid Android apps for free. Yes, you heard it right. Free and legitimate. So why wait anymore? Hey guys, this is Abhijit from Guiding Tech and let's get right to it, shall we? So the first method to get paid apps for free comes from Google itself. Yep, you heard it right. Google's own Opinion Rewards app is a great way to earn Play Store credit and purchase any app you want. And you only need to fill out the short surveys to get these free credit. It's that simple. Now, if you are worried about privacy, it's worth noting that Google makes use of the answers you give to show more relevant content to you. So it's a win-win situation. Just make sure you answer the surveys as soon as you get the notification because they expire after some time and you lose the opportunity to make some free credits. Moving on, the next trick is about keeping a track of discounts on the Play Store wherein some random apps are offered for free as a limited time offer. Now I know keeping a track of such discounts manually might not be an easy task, so we will take help of yet another app here. This app's name is App Sales and it keeps track of all the ongoing app sales on the Play Store. All the sales are organized into three tabs with the first one showing all the highlighted sales, the second one for the latest listings and the third one is about all the apps that are now available for free. There's a fourth tab as well in which you can create a list of the apps that you wish to purchase. The app will then keep a track of those and notify you whenever an app on this list is on sale. Pretty handy, right? Apps Free is another such app that works pretty much the same way. It lists down all the free or discounted apps on the Play Store, but there's one unique twist. Instead of having a wish list, Apps Free lets you dismiss apps that you don't like and they'll never show up again for you. This will ensure that you never see apps that are of no use to you, making it easier to spot the app that you might need. However, if you ever have a change of heart, you can always go to the dismissed list and review it to include those apps to the homepage once again. Now, I'm sure most of you are already familiar with Reddit, but did you know that you can also track Play Store deals on the platform? Well, there's a subreddit for that. Actually, there are two. The Google Play Deals subreddit is a very active forum in which users like you keep posting about the best app deals on the Play Store. If you like a deal, you can just click on the link in the thread and you'll be redirected to the download page for the app. Simple, right? Next, there's the Android Game Deals subreddit, which works pretty much the same way, but houses the best game deals on the Play Store. You should definitely check out both of these subreddits and the best part, you don't even have to register on Reddit to view these pages. Rounding things off is a cool way with which you can use new and upcoming apps for free. Want to know how? Well, it's quite simple. Most developers look for beta testers for their apps before they are released onto the Play Store. And these testers get free access to the app. Oftentimes, the developers also allow testers to upgrade to the final release version without paying a single penny. So you should definitely get in on that if you like trying out new apps. But hey, make sure that you help the developer by reporting the bugs you step on while using the app. If you aren't sure how to find apps that are looking for beta testers, then you should either search for beta on Play Store or you can download the beta testing catalog app. The app lists down all developers who are currently looking for beta testers so you can easily find an app that you like and you can get to use it for free. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Make sure you try out all the methods to maximize your chances of getting the best app deals. Just note that some deals are region specific, so they might not show up for you if you're in a different region. This is Abhijit signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.